on this week's news update. The world's oldest aquarium fish. COVID vaccine scientists win Nobel Prize. And an AI designs a robot. First up, an Australian lungfish named Methuselah is the world's oldest aquarium fish. She's been living at the Steinhardt Aquarium in San Francisco since 1938. Until now, she was estimated to be 84 years old. But a recent DNA study by scientists has shown that she could, in fact, be between 92 and 101 years old. To calculate her age, scientists analysed the wear and tear Methuselah's DNA has been through over time, comparing it to the DNA of 30 other Australian lungfish from the wild and captivity. Scientists hope their work will help conservationists estimate more accurate survival rates for this species in the wild. All thanks to this fish. Up next. In 1895, chemist and engineer Alfred Nobel left his fortune to fund a series of awards known as the Nobel Prizes. Since then, they have become some of the most respected awards for scientists and academics to achieve. Some famous winners include Martin Luther King Jr., who won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, and Malala Yousafzai, who was awarded the same prize 50 years later in 2014. This year, Catalan Carrico and Drew Weissman joined their ranks when they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for their work on mRNA vaccines. mRNA vaccines use material copied from a virus to help fight infection instead of other methods which use a weakened version of a virus to provide protection. The pair's work on developing mRNA vaccines at the University of Pennsylvania was crucial in the fight against COVID-19. Now they are working on adapting mRNA technology to fight other diseases and possibly even treat some types of cancer, giving it the potential to revolutionize future healthcare. And finally, Designing robots is a long process, often inspired by things we're familiar with, like humans or animals. But now scientists at Northwestern University have created a new kind of robot, designed by artificial intelligence or AI. Scientists instructed the AI to create a robot that could walk. It created 10 different designs on a computer before producing a final version, and it did all this in just 30 seconds. To build the final design, scientists created a mold of the robot's body using a 3D printer. Then liquid rubber was added and left to set. The resulting robot works by pumping air into its body, causing it to walk very slowly. It looks nothing like human-made robots, and yet it still meets the original design brief. As a result, scientists are excited for the new and unique design possibilities that AI could help us create. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Twig Science Reporter. Don't forget to sign up at twigsciencereporter.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel at Twig Science Reporter so you never miss our weekly updates. See you next time.